Let us have an example. Uh, consider um, a stochastic process x of t, x of t, and we consider the easiest um, statistic, let's say mean of x of t. Uh, for other statistics like autocorrelation functions and so on, the definition can be easily extended as we learn in this process. So the expected learning outcome is that you would know the definitions and you would be able to verify if definitions are valid in your uh, application or your research area or not. So uh, we say that um, a random process is mean ergodic in mean square sense under some conditions. So this is the definition. So a random process x of t in the mean sense. So I calculate this mean. So the mean of this random process is equal to integral of the value that this x can take on. So the value could be the any arbitrary real number x and it times its distribution at time t of x and then dt. And then x, sorry, this one should be... Um, over the values that it can take. So the distribution of this, if you have distribution of a, a random process from minus infinity to plus infinity, then you can calculate. However, if you don't have the distribution, and if you have one temporal sample of your random process, you could average it over time. So we say oh, x of t uh, integral over the period of, let's say, from minus t to t. And here t varies from this and then dt and then divided by the duration twice t. Or you could say from 0 to t, okay, it doesn't matter, and then divided by t. So here to have symmetry, I say from minus t to t and divide by 2t. Now, this guy is a real number. And this is a, a random variable because uh, integral is summation of some uh, uh, random entities here. And we say is they are mean ergodic if this averaging over time converges to this one. Now, this definition says convergence in mean square sense. Mean square sense convergence. What this mean? It means that the difference, the mean, mean means expected. So the, the uh, mean square sense has two words, mean and square sense. This means that you take expected value, and uh, a square sense means that you calculate the error between these two uh, values, between the um, a statistical value and uh, temporal value, the error is between them. So what is the error? Uh, and then I squared it. So calculate error. And then uh, if the mean square error uh, converges, so if the, 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 the error in mean square uh, sense becomes zero. So if you take limit of this one, when t is large enough, this becomes small enough, as much as you want, okay? So, uh, so this is the definition of mean uh, um, um, ergodic. Now, the, the trouble is that um, if this guy is a function, if, if, if this is not a stationary, if it is a stationary, the, the problem could work. But if this is varying with time, Okay, so then that means that uh, for some time t you get one number, for some other time t you get another number. So it doesn't matter what you do averaging here. So a part of um, definition of being mean ergodic is useful if this guy is time invariant, if this is constant. So if it is um, equal to mean of x of t plus 2 for all 2. Okay, so within the definition of ergodicity, we should have a stationarity in the mean sense, in, in the sense of this statistic here. So um, I, I, I formulate my uh, definition of ergodicity uh, of a random process in, in, in the mean sense and a convergence in mean square sense. Um, uh, uh, we say that, first of all, it should be uh, stationary, 
in the mean. And the second of all, the statistical mean or the statistical average should um, should converge to temporal average. So this is a temporal average. And when this guy is large enough, the difference, the mean squared error between them should be equal to zero. Basically, if you calculate this one or this limit, instead of putting it here, you could put it here. It doesn't matter. So it's kind of same average. So this is the definition of an stochastic process in and um, being ergodic in a mean sense. Now, if you if you say an, uh, a random process is ergodic in autocorrelation, or if if you say that a random process is ergodic in power, so what we have to say first, the power mean of x of t to the power of two. This is the power. So the first thing is that this should be stationary. That means that I should have this one equal to mean of x of t plus 2. That means that the power at time t and that the power at time any other time should be equal. This is the first thing. And the second thing is that the statistical average, this guy is defined to integral of, let's say, x to the power of 2 of fx of t of x dx. And these should converge in mean square sense. Oh, sorry. The other way around. Uh, if you if I take temporal average, temporal average uh, from let's say minus t to t of let's say x of t to the power of two dt, and then divided by over two t, uh, two t. If this guy, which is random, converges to this one in mean square sense, that means that you formulate something like that. When t tends to uh, infinity, when t is large enough. If this, so then you you could expand either this one or the other one and see if this is uh, either this is satisfied or not in your application. So um, um, so we could then once you manipulate this this expression, you could convert it to a theorem or a necessary or sufficient condition. For instance, here if you have a discrete time wide sense station random process with finite mean and a given covariance, uh, and a sufficient uh, uh, <clears throat> and necessary condition for x of n to be mean ergodic is that. The, 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 the covariance is finite, and as m increases to infinity, the, the autocorrelation um, function tends to zero. So this is very easy to prove. So just to use um, the, the, the definition, because the temporal average is summation of, let's say, x of k, and then k equal 1 to n divided by n, and these should converge in mean square sense to mean of x of, uh, uh, let's say, k. And you write the definitions and then expand it, and then this will, the proof will follow. So it means that if your random process is asympt asymptotically uncorrelated, therefore, and wide sense is stationary, therefore, it is mean ergodic. So can, you can use this theorem in many of the applications in your there is other theorem that you can use is that this is for uh, discrete time this is for continuous time they are about same um, so if this condition is satisfied you can say that your random process is mediagodic